The Los Angeles Lakers are not done making moves. I believe the Lakers can make one more trade this offseason, and the player I want to see them trade for is Zach Levine. When talking about fan favorite targets for the Los Angeles Lakers, Zach Levine is easily one of the most popular. You Laker fans out there would love to see him join LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And in this video, I got some trade scenarios that I believe the Lakers can offer the Chicago Bulls for them to potentially get Zach. So if you're a big Laker fan and you love to dream, this video is perfect for you. But quickly before I get on with the video, I just want to say if you're new to the channel and love basketball, welcome to Easy Buckets. My name is Soom and I make basketball videos every single day. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and click this button right here, the post notification bell, to not miss any of my upcoming videos. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about the possibility of Zach Levine going to the Lakers. I would love to go out there and play with, you know, a dude like LeBron James, you know, but you're not going to get those type of opportunities, I don't think. Um, Unless you wind up on the Lakers, that's mm, right. You know, hmm. yeah, things like that, but. All right. You guys just heard the video. You guys just heard the interview. Zach Levine would love to play alongside LeBron James. This interview was taken during the NBA All-Star Game this weekend when Max Kellerman asked Zach, who in the NBA do you or would you like to play with? Of course, after hearing that response, Laker fans out there everywhere are saying, Zach to the Lakers. The Lakers should trade for Zach Levine. And because of that, the possibility of it actually happening, it just keeps increasing every single day. When talking about Zach Levine, he is definitely one of the best up and coming shooting guards in the NBA. He is currently the best player on the Chicago Bulls. And from what it looks like, the Bulls haven't really made a big move this offseason to try and keep them competitive. A recent report just came out that apparently the names of Zach Levine and also Bradley Beal has been very popular amongst NBA teams when it comes to the trade market. Of course, the media ain't saying this out loudly and a trade really isn't on the table, but when teams are calling the Bulls or the Bulls are calling other teams, the name Zach Levine is definitely being mentioned. And if Zach Levine ultimately feels that being with the Bulls, he's not going to be competitive and not get a shot at an NBA championship, requesting a trade from the Bulls might be the best case scenario for him if he wants to truly compete. And if this is the case, I believe the Lakers must target Zach Levine as soon as possible. When talking about Zach Levine, he was spectacular last season as he was the main guy for the Bulls. He averaged 3.1 three-pointers made a game, 25.5 points per game, 4.8 rebounds, and 4.2 assists with 1.5 steals. Zach Levine was an all-around presence for the Bulls. But when looking at the Bulls' record as a team, they went 22-43. That's absolutely horrible, and seeing Zach Levine be a third option, potentially on another team, might be the best case scenario for him. When talking about the Lakers, they just traded away their starting shooting guard of Danny Green, and that's why right now they are currently looking for someone to replace Danny in that starting spot. I believe if the Lakers can get Zach Levine, it would be a best case scenario, the best thing that could happen to the Lakers, and I know you Laker fans would love to see it happen. In this video, I got three trade scenarios that I believe the Bulls could potentially be interested in. And if Zach was on the table, this is the best I would say the Lakers could offer. When talking about the Lakers' best trading asset, it's pretty obvious who it is. They still have Kyle Kuzma on their roster that they could potentially trade for another star player. And that's why in a Zach Levine trade, Kyle Kuzma has to be in all of them. What we're hearing about Kyle Kuzma is that apparently when he hits free agency next offseason, he wants a quote-unquote sizable deal. And if the Lakers feel like they won't be giving him that, trading him in this offseason or next year's NBA trade deadline is something definitely in their plan book. So without wasting any more time, let's get into these three trade scenarios. The first trade scenario is trading away Kyle Kuzma, a sign and trade with Contavious Caldwell Pope, and also giving away their 2022 first round pick. I believe this is a simple yet direct trade. The Lakers would be giving the Bulls a veteran player of KCP and two young players of Kuzma and a potential future draft pick. 
But if the Bulls don't like this trade and want to focus more on a young talent that's already established, maybe giving away KCP, Kyle Kuzma, and Talon Horton Tucker might make them more interested. In this trade scenario, the Lakers can save that 2022 first round pick because they gave up so many already, but they do lose a young asset of Talon Horton Tucker. I don't like this trade scenario. I would prefer the Lakers keep Talon. Which moves me to my favorite trade scenario, which is the third one, and that's the Bulls giving up KCP sign and trade, of course Kyle Kuzma, and JaVale McGee, who just opt into his player option of about $4 million. What's very good about this trade is that the Bulls can get three established NBA players while giving up just Zach Levine, and the Lakers can get an all-star caliber player at the shooting guard position. The Bulls will be getting a lot of depth and they could definitely rebuild around Kuz and Kobe White. These are my three trade scenarios, what do you guys think about that? But ultimately guys, this wraps up my video for today on the Los Angeles Lakers and three trade scenarios that they could potentially offer up the Chicago Bulls to land Zach Levine. What's most important to me is I want to know what you guys think. You guys agree with me on these trade scenarios? Are these trade scenarios possible for the Lakers to land Zach? Put all your thoughts in the comment section down below. I do want to talk to you guys quickly about what the Lakers have already done so far during this year's NBA offseason. We all know their big trade with Dennis Schroeder, but so far when talking about free agency, there are actually some things that happened. We're talking about Avery Bradley, he just opted out of his player option and I know you Laker fans out there want Avery Bradley to go to the Lakers again, you know, give him another opportunity to prove how good he could be in the NBA playoffs, but Avery Bradley is opting out and most likely not going to come back. We're talking about Quinn Cook, Quinn Cook was just waived by the Lakers, which means the Lakers don't want him anymore, he's going to be joining another team. A big question Laker fans out there is what will Dwight Howard do and from what we're hearing so far Dwight Howard says that he wants to play for the Lakers he wants to come back and go for another NBA championship run but he claims that he doesn't want to play for quote unquote for free anymore and wants to get paid. To be honest with you guys I don't know exactly how much Dwight Howard is expecting I don't really think he's a mid-level exception caliber player but maybe if the Lakers can offer Dwight Howard that five million dollar deal he might actually take it. We all know Rajon Rondo is gonna walk and possibly join another team possibly join the LA Clippers or the Atlanta Hawks he's most likely not gonna come back to the Lakers because they got Dennis Schroeder. But one thing's for sure, I'm super excited to see what the Lakers are planning to do and what's upcoming in this year's free agency for them. Let's see what Rob Plinka can come up with. But other than that, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo! I got